Hey, everybody, I'm Dan Plezak, and welcome to MLB The Show. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the Cleveland Indians and the Tampa Bay Rays. Stepping in, Jose Ramirez. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The afternoon for The third baseman, Jose Ramirez. Here's the first pitch to him. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. And that's in there for his strike one and one. One strike. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Renfro is there and he makes the catch for the out. Ready now, Jordan Luplo. The right fielder, number eight. 
Jordan. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball. You know, we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. Now a curveball misses inside. Hey, not a good spot to be down 2-0. This guy has some serious pop at the plate. I'm expecting a big hack here. Now here's the pitch. Bumgarner, he's the kind of pitcher that a lot of pitching coaches and managers really appreciate and that he rarely issues the free pass. He's a strike thrower. Yeah, Matty V, and I think every pitching coach and every manager loves to have a guy like this on his staff. He won't beat himself. He'll make you put the ball in play, and he's not afraid to get his defense allowed. He's a pitch-to-contact guy, and that's one of the keys why he's been able to be such a good pitcher at this level. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The 3 2 one more time. Another one sent foul. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at bat. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. So good. here's Francisco Lindor now. Francisco. He's set. Here it comes. No. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. The 1-1. One, one. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Two balls and two strikes to count to Francisco Lindor. On the move again from first. Pitch inside the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Luplo leads off second with one gun in the inning. Now here's a check swing and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. And that'll bring in Fran Moreyes. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Chop now to short. Can they get two? Adamas scoops it up. There's one. On to first, and he really paid the price at second base, but it's a double play, and the inning is over. Stepping in, Brandon Lau. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman, number eight. He's set, and the pitch. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here's another 0 2. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Into the box, Kevin Kiermeyer. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Kiermeyer. Now here it comes. Lays off 1 0. 1 0. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. And a close play at first as he had to go up the ladder to get that one, but he kept a foot anchored on the bag, and that's your second out. Stepping up to the plate, Hunter Renfro. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. From the stretch. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Ball 
set for the start of the inning and that'll bring in one of the best on base percentage players in the game Carlos Santana. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball it's one and all. Santana in front with a two and oh count. Down low and the plot thickens here three and oh. And that misses for ball four so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Standing in Domingo Santana first chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the stretch here's the pitch. Tough to do much with that one a swing and a miss. Nice job by the pitcher right there to establish himself back into the strike zone. Would have liked to have seen the hitter been a little bit more aggressive in that situation. Usually when a pitcher throws four balls in a row that next pitch you can get super greedy right down the middle. That is seven. The second baseman Daniel Murphy. Daniel Murphy steps in now as he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. Fouled off. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Pops this one up. Uh, and that's going to fall. A base hit. Batting it. The catcher, number 55, Roberto. Stepping in now, Roberto Perez. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. When you're hitting in a situation like this, you have to find a way to slow your heart rate down. The pitcher's the one with all the pressure. You're looking to keyhole something middle of the plate and drive some runs in. A one and two count to the Indians catcher. Fly ball out toward left center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. The relay, but he gets back in time safe at second base. And now he throws on the brakes, but he can't get back to first, and he's nailed for the second out. Big mistake there. So stepping in, Rymel Tapia, runner in scoring position with two gone. First delivery to him on the way ground ball right side a diving try but he can't haul it in it's through for a base hit and now they've got the runner caught in the hot box as he thought about going home and not in time as the run scores and he's able to get back in there at first safely now Jose Ramirez and he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field Kiermaier is under it and he makes the catch for out number three digging in now Austin Meadows he's set to lead off the home half of the second hey we're still in the early stage and in this one they're only down by a couple of runs but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Tapia is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. So that striding in, Nelson Cruz. Hitter. Nelson Cruz. Here comes the first pitch. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Ball one as the changeup misses well off the inside. The one one waves and misses for strike number two. You know what that ugly swing tells me right there? 
This guy's got his good slider work, and that thing's got depth and bite. Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly. And he's going to beat the offline throw to first as the first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And here comes the first baseman, G-Man Choi. From the belt, the pitch. Hit well on the ground to first. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Batting set. The pitcher. So here's Mike Zanino. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Zanino is considered one of the best defensive catchers in the game today. He often gets praise for his work behind the plate, and I know a lot of pitchers have made it clear that his presence back there adds a level of comfort that not many others can replicate. And, Matty, I don't know if he's always going to be a favorite for the gold glove, but you walk around this clubhouse, you hear these pitchers rave about throwing to this guy. That's all I need to hear. First offering on its way. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Left fielder giving chase. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And the runner is in from second. The relay throw, the tag, and he is out at third. And with that, the side is retired. In now, Jordan Luplo. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And foul. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Bumgarner ready with the 0 1. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk. Coming right after him here. That misses 1 and 2. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. Two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Into right field, that's a base hit. Up next to Cleveland, the shortstop, Francisco and that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. From the belt, the pitch. He's running. Strike taken, the throw. And no throw, in fact, as he'll just hang on to it. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Pop 
chopped him up. Choi is under it to make the catch for the first out. So one man gone for Cleveland here in the third. And digging in now, Fran Reyes. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a hard liner. Foul. Behind 0-2 now. A 2-1 to -one score here as we play inning number three. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Striding in for the Indians, Carlos Santana. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Line towards center field. That's in there. Base hit. Luplo is on his way home. And not in time as the run scores. Now that the left field, Domingo. Into the box, Domingo Santana. Out in front of it, strike one. Trying to keep things going now with the runner at first following the RBI single. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Hit to third. Scooped up. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Bottom of the third now. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Willie Adamas. Not shortstop. Willie Adamas. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first. And one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Coming to the plate now, Brandon Lau. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the at bat. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. Into center field, line drive base hit. Now batting the center fielder, Kevin. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Third inning here. Three to one our score. Hold high in the air out to right field. Luplo is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. Renfro. Carrasco pauses and delivers. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. This right-handed pitcher, his bread and butter is that two-seamer, and he loves to throw it inside. 1-1, one, one, a fastball high, 2-1 and one now. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Squared that one up just a little late. Two out with the man at first. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 
Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll play one for sure and maybe a second. The bat, the designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. Here's Nelson Cruz now. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. 0 for 1 here in the early going. That's popped up. And that's in there. Base hit. And the second run will score as the lead will change hands now at 4 to 3. Now back, first baseman, G Man Shore. G Man Choi, the next to hit. Fly ball heading for the alley. On the run is Tapia. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Now time now is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Here now is Mike Zanino. And solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Leading off the inning, Daniel Murphy, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Daniel. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Lofted in the air out to right field. Meadows has it, and there's one away. At the plate, Roberto Perez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. And this one misses to the Cleveland backstop. It's even at a ball and a strike. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. And there's out number two. So two gone now for the Tribe here in the fourth. And striding into the plate next will be Rymel Tapia. And this is low, ball one. One ball, no strike. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Kiermaier's got a read on it. And that's the third out. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Joey Wendell. He's set, here it comes. This is pulled into right, and that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall, and he will coast into second with a leadoff double. The batter, number one, good stop, Willie Adame. Standing in now, Willie Adamas, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Comes into this at-bat 0-for-1 in the ballgame. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder, and a dive, but he can't pull it in out in right center. The relay, now he's safe at third, as a run will score on the play as well. Now that number eight. So now to the plate, Brandon Lau. No balls and a strike to count. He's one for two in this one. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. 
Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. And it's in time to get him. But one run is in to score on the play. Now that. So here's Kevin, Kevin Kiermeyer. Kevin Kiermeyer. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 1. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here it comes on nothing and two. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. The left fielder, number 11, Hunter. Into the box Hunter now, Renfro. Hunter Renfro. Ramirez is up with it. It was a walk in his last trip. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0-2. Made him look silly with that one. Slider. Ooh, thought he had him, but it's 1-2. and two. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Luplo is over near the line now as he makes the catch for the second out of the inning. Now that right feels a runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. I couldn't catch up with the gas that time. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. Off speed pitch just missed inside. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let. Pitch inside the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Now the 2 1 pitch. Will not catch the zone. Ball three. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 3-2 pitch. And this is hit hard to the right side. But foul. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball. And the hitter just fouls that one off. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder is on the run. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Jose Ramirez. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016, just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup, and Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. This one's down to third. He's right there. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out one away. Digging in once again Jordan Luplo. Jordan Luplo. First offering on its way. No, that's the ball. Two. Fastball called strike. One and two. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. A 
bouncer to the left side. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone, and with it comes Francisco Lindor to the plate. And he fouls this one off. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermeyer's got a read on it. And that retires the side. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And coming and forward, the veteran the outfielder, field. Nelson Cruz. The designated hitter. Nelson. First pitch coming. Here it is. Cruz. Swing and a miss oh. on a ball inside. 0-1. Rip down the line right to Ramirez and there's one down now yeah, trying to pick things up where we left finger. off G man Choi it was a two bagger for him in his last at bat yeah he jumped all over that first pitch last time up interested to see if he has the same approach this AB lifted the other way to left center Santana will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the now second out of the inning. Into the box now, Mike Zanino. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Carrasco pauses. First pitch on its way. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. There's a slogan is throwing too many strikes. That might be the case for this guy in this outing right here. So far, driven deep. At the wall, it is gone. Now that the third base, and that'll bring up Joey Wendell. On he pops it up, and that'll get down for a base hit. And a good job to get to it quickly and get it back in. That'll hold him to a two-out single. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Stepping in now, Willie Adamas. As he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. Waiting on it is Tapia. And that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway and striding forward the designated hitter Fran Reyes. This one doesn't look good so far down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. So now Carlos Santana. As Bumgarner gets ahead of him with strike one. It was a single for him in his last at bat. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. To second for one. On to first, and they get them both. In now, Domingo Santana. A hit in two tries so far. First pitch on its way. Hard liner to center field. Kiermeyer is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. Stepping in and ready for another shot, and Brandon he Lau. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Number eight. First pitch on its way. High in the air out to center field. Tapia's in pursuit. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now with the play, now Kevin Kiermeyer. He's working on a Kevin. one for three thus far. Kiermaier. Here's the first pitch to him. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. 
So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. And quickly, there are two away. Now at the plate, Hunter Renfro. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Ball. Ball. No. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious count leverage situations, and good hitters aren't going to miss. And that's over two and one. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Tapia retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Here's Daniel Murphy now. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at-bats thus far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. On its way is pitch number 75. Ball two. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, and it's two and one now. Pitch on the way. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. At the plate, Roberto Perez. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Now a swing and a fly ball, and it's a foul ball. The 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Three runs, six hits, and one error in the ballgame for Cleveland so far. Here's a little chopper up the middle. On to first, and Bumgarner's rolled and right through him here. Two away now. Coming to the plate now, Rymel Tapia. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Ball one. Good tailing action there. It's one and one. Three runs, six hits, and one error in the ballgame for Cleveland so far. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Two and two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. Emmanuel Passe gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Austin Meadows. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. 0 oh 1, here it comes. Breaking ball. ball below the zone. That's ball one. One ball, one strike. Two balls and a strike. Ball now the 2 1. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases.
Up next for Tampa Bay. The designated hitter. And that'll bring Nelson. up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. Cruz. Driven deep at the wall. It is gone. The first baseman. In now, G-Man Choi. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's two for three and looking for more here. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Santana is there and he'll bring this one in. At the plate, Mike Zanino. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Yeah, that, that last at bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in and standing this guy up to make that outside corner not no as appealing. Ball. No one balls strike. and one strike. A ball and a strike to Mike Zanino. Still only one out in the inning. Hit hard up the middle. Throw in time at first for route number two. Joey Wendell digs in now. Three hits, including a pair of doubles for him thus far. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. First pitch coming. Here it is. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Murphy will put this one away, and the side is retired. Ready to begin the eighth, and set to go is the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yep. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. And there's a base hit on the line. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Now back the right fielder, Jordan Luplo. To the plate now, Jordan Luplo. As Bumgarner oh, wow. gets ahead of him with strike one. A hit and two tries for him so far. There he goes. Pitch inside the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. The 1-1. One, one. No one out with a runner at second. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. But this is taken in on the warning track as the runner will tag from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. No hits to this point. First pitch of the at bat. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Catch is made in medium deep left center. Here comes the runner for the plate. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. How about it? The Next will be the designated hitter, Fran Moreyes. Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. Line drive to left. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. So that hit extends the inning for Carlos Santana. Up next for Cleveland, the first baseman, Carlos Santana. Andrew Kittredge enters the ball game out of the pen looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. 
Here's Carlos Santana now. Into right field, that's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The back, the left field. Domingo. Standing in now, Domingo Santana, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Line drive to center field. Kiermeyer is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And up next will be Willie Adamas. Not shortstop. Willie. Adam Simber is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 90, Adam Simber. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard towards center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So it's a good start to the inning for the Rays as their leadoff hitter is aboard. Now that number eight. So now to the plate, Brandon Lau. Swing and a chopper down the first baseline. Simber was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Runner goes for second, but gloved by the third baseman for the out. Now a throw to first, doubles up the runner. Tough luck that time as he got stuck in no man's land following the line drive on the hit and run. He's set, and the pitch. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Lifted down the line in left. And they can't run it down. The 0-2 pitch. This is line to left. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. So a nice job there to fight off an 0-2 pitch and keep the inning alive for at least one more batter. The left fielder, number 11, Hunter Renfro. Into the box, Hunter Renfro. Back. And, oh, this is off the second base bag. And there's his first base hit in this one. And he is in there. Now that the right fielder, Austin. Stepping in now, Austin Meadows. Line towards center field. Tapia is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. All set to start the ninth in this one. And up next, postseason record holder Daniel Murphy. Jose Alvarado comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. pitch of the at bat on its way ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one and a strike to even the count one and one now the pitch and a half swing here but he pretty clearly went around and it's one and two now And he popped him up. Wendell into shallow left. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Now that At the plate, Roberto Perez. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. 
Runner goes. Off for that and missed. Here's the throw. He's well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. A runner at second. Nobody out. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off-speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Stepping into the box, Rymel Tapia. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch on its way. That's popped up. Wendell in foul ground, but this will land untouched. Runner at second here with one man out. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire, and that's out number two. From the stretch, and that misses ball one. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at-bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. No. Ball two. Now, you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Push softly over toward the right side. And he'll put this one away. And with that, the ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game. But when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. And this ball game ends at a 9-4 final score. The Tampa Bay Rays get the win after banging out 16 total hits. Madison Bumgarner takes home the win. Carlos Carrasco permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Four runs on 10 hit, One error. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game. Three hours.